the town's third largest and first biggest city and the fifth most populous urban area. I lived my whole life here in Nakora, and I'd like to share. I am a second year environmental student at the University of Nakora. prioritize investments for a more efficient response to the immediate global challenges ahead. The lower vulnerability score and the high readiness score of Japan places it in the lower right quadrant of the NDK matrix. Adaptation challenges still exist, but Japan is well positioned to adapt. Japan is the 26th least vulnerable country and the 16th most ready country. However, with the lifestyle that we live today, each person in Japan produces around 6 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions a day. So, spending all this time at the university doing my research, as to how I could encourage people and make a change to save the planet. Far from using our own carry home shopping bag instead of plastic carry bags, what else can we do to reduce our carbon emissions? Can we bring doubling of carbon dioxide if we can keep emissions flat for the next 50 years? This task is projected to keep atmospheric carbon under 1,200 billion tons, allowing us to skirt the worst predicted consequences of climate change. The stabilization project country is a simple tool for conveying the emission facts that can be seen that can make to avoid dramatic climate change. is to stabilize greenhouse gas emissions for the next 50 years by using more efficient technology such as solar or nuclear in energy. These are the eight widgets that I will be focusing on. Transport efficiency, transport conservation, building efficiency, wind electricity, solar electricity, tin fuel, fuel switching for electricity and biofuel. There are about 600 million cars in the world, and it is predicted that there will be about 2 billion passenger vehicles on the road in 50 years. A wedge of emission saving would be achieved if the fuel efficiency of all the cars projected for 2060.
which is require a thousand four hundred large natural gas plant displacing similar coal industry plant. Plants take up carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Combustion of higher fuels made from plants like corn and sugar canes simply return borrowed carbon to the atmosphere. Thus, burning biofuels for transportation and heating will not raise the atmosphere level carbon dioxide concentration. One ridge of biofuel saving would require increasing today's global ethanol production by about 12 times and making it sustainable.